For the past twenty years, I have been helping Malaysian and other Southeast Asians to speak better English, and through training thousands of Southeast Asians, I have discovered a very surprising truth. I discovered that how well somebody communicates in English actually has very little to do with their English level. It has a lot to do with their attitude towards English. There are people out there who have a very low level of English, and they can communicate very, very well. One of them that I remember was a student, a participant of my, of my named Five Sao. He was a factory supervisor. English level very, very low, but this guy could just sit and listen to anybody. Very calmly, clearly, and then he could respond. Absolutely, express his thoughts beautifully, at a very low level of English. So today I want to share with you what is so different about people like Fai Sao. How do they do it? And second of all, why is this so important? Not only to you, but Your children to your community and to the future of Malaysia. And first of all, what's one thing you can do starting today if you want to speak with that calm, clear, confident that people like Five Star has. So, first of all, what's so different? How do people like Five Star do it? To answer that question. I'm going to take you back about ten years. Okay, I was training staff at that time, and my daughter at that time was taking piano lessons, and I start to notice two really strong sim similarities between my daughter's attitude or thinking towards playing the piano and a lot of Malaysians thinking. Or attitude towards English. First of all, I should tell you, my daughter absolutely hate piano, hate the lessons, hate practicing. This is my daughter practicing piano. Okay, this is as good as it got. This is the real thing, and she just going to piano lessons because to my daughter, going to piano lessons. She was filled with this soft hot dread, because it was all about not scaling up, right? 过去二十年咧，我一直系教马来西亚人同埋东南亚人点样去增进英文嘅口语能力嘅。透过训练数以千计嘅东南亚人咧，我发现咗个惊人嘅事实。我发现一个人嘅英文沟通能力咧，其实同佢嘅英文程度几乎系无关嘅。而且同佢英文講英文嘅態度息息相關。有啲人嘅英文程度好差，但係咧能夠用英文清楚咁表達諗法嘅喎。我課堂上有個學生叫做法扎爾，佢係一個工作主管，英文程度非常之差，而佢能夠坐低咧聽取任何人嘅意見，冷靜沉著，清楚咁聽，跟住回應，精準到位表達佢嘅諗法，僅係僅僅用咗好低程度嘅英文。今日我想同大家分享嘅，就好似法扎爾咁樣嘅人嘅獨特之處喺邊度咧？佢哋係點樣做到嘅咧？仲有就係點解呢啲件事唔不單止對你好重要，亦都對你嘅小朋友啦、你嘅社群啦、以及馬來西亞未來好重要咧？再嚟咧就係你可以做一件事，由今開始，如果想以沉著自信嘅態度講英文，就似法扎爾一樣。首先，你哋嘅差別邊度咧？法扎爾啲咁樣嘅人。係點做到嘅咧？要回答呢條問題咧，要先講一講我十年前發生嘅事。當年我係訓練緊員工，而我嘅女咧喺上鋼琴課嘅時候咧，開我開始發現兩個極大相似嘅之處喎。從我女兒學鋼琴嘅態度啦、思維咧，同多數馬來西亞人學英文嘅思維態度係好相似嘅。首先，我要話俾你聽咧，我女兒係非常之痛恨鋼琴嘅，討厭上堂，討厭練琴。
呢、这個就我女兒練琴嘅樣啦。佢係咁樣咁樣算係已經好好噶啦，係真嘅。佢好討厭上鋼琴課，對我女兒嚟講，上鋼琴課咧係俾佢感到恐懼不安，因為要小心翼翼，唔能夠搞彎佢嘅，係咪